Good afternoon, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Hitchhiking Yeti here. Thank you so much for joining me today as we are in Wolfenburg, Germany. This is a really cool, very touristy town, but awesome because it has a wall that is built around the town. So a lot of old school stuff we're going to see today. It is kind of known as a medieval town. So uh, let's go inside, take a little walk around, learn a little history about Wolfenburg. So before we hit inside the gates here to make it inside of Rothenburg, cause this right here is the wall that surrounds the town. Germany's tourism board actually uh, keeps up with how many visitors come here each year. And it's definitely on the top of people's bucket list. People who come to Germany here in the Bavaria region, 1.5 million people actually visit the town of Rothenburg. Pretty impressive. And here we go, walking through into the town. And check out the wall right here on the left. That is so awesome. But we can actually climb up there and we're, we're gonna walk down the wall eventually. But for now, we're just gonna hit on inside, look at some of the storefronts, pay attention to the classic German architecture here. A lot of age on this place. So speaking of the age of the town, the area around Rothenburg first become populated in the late 10th century. Wow, that is really, really old. Yet yeah, wouldn't be a major player in Germany for another 300 years when it received the status of a free imperial city of the Holy Roman Empire. This status gave Rothenburg essentially free reign to govern its own affairs. Around this time, Rothenburg also gained economic importance due to its access, access to plentiful resources. Check that out, we got us a white guitar, some musical instruments. This is like a musical store, I guess. Look at this stuff here, all these little like ukulele guitars. And check out these rubber duckies right here. Quack, quack. Yeah, he's totally rocking a harmonica. And they got some harmonicas right here for sale. So this here kind of give you an idea of what Rothenburg looks like. This is kind of the lay of the land. You can see the wall, how it fortifies the community. And there's some really good places back here on the backside, this backside area, beautiful areas to take pictures because it's kind of elevated. Like up here, the wall is very tall, but I guess the, the town must be on the side of a hill because when you come back here to the backside, you can actually get up on this wall kind of like it's very steep like straight down wall so uh pretty awesome looking check that out back here and this right here is like the marketplace we definitely go here because there's a story that goes along with this center part about a man who would uh come outside the window drink beer and sing for peace or something like that <laughs> when we get down there i see if i can get a little bit more information on it. it's been a while since i've been here but i always thought that was really cute look at this house right here with all the flowers kind of adorned all over it and decorated oh they got it so cool just amazing to be in a town this old i mean the 10th century it's when this place was occupied, this area. It's like a thousand year old town. Just all the history that this place has seen here in Germany. To kind of give you a little bit more negative history, it said in World War II, the Nazi party looked at Rothenburg as an ideal image of a German community. Their soldiers eventually occupied this town, which led to its bombing by allied forces in 1945. A substantial portion of the eastern part of town was destroyed and then rebuilt during the post-war period. This is a sign you don't see every day. Check that out. It's like a horse and carriage or horse and buggy sign. I know the last time I was here, it's been probably seven or eight years ago, give or take. Uh, it was really cool sitting here looking at these old like kind of cobblestone streets. And guess what drove down through here? awesome Lamborghini it was orange and black it was awesome I was like well somebody around Rothenburg's got some money 
So when you're in Germany, one of the foods over here or snacks that is very popular is their pretzels. And as you can see, it's got like a golden pretzel on this sign right here for this little cafe. This is some of the goods that they have in there. Got some pretzel bread. Look at that. And I love this right here. It's like a Linzer cookie. We get those at Epcot in the German Pavilion. Uh, that you know I love I could eat two of those no problem don't even matter to side to me look at this bee look at the bees the bees are in there on the food no way get away from the sugar my friends all right my friends we have made it here in the marketplace area here in kind of the I guess the unofficial center of town it's like we got some pretzels being sold right here we got some restaurant cafe just look how awesome the buildings look here look at that one is that not awesome the color just the, the look at the pitch of the roof and this right here I think is the uh, courthouse is what my wife and aunt was just telling me you can actually buy a ticket and go all the way up there to the top so that is pretty awesome so kind of the story about this marketplace is they I guess they had like a mayor and Swedish troops actually showed up here I think in like the 1400s maybe and they was outside the gates and so what what they did to kind of deter the troops because they didn't want them to enter the town and attack or anything they pretty much poured like a big thing of beer for them you know because you're in Germany that's what they're known for is their beer drinking and uh, they pretty much told them if you can drink this this whole beer in one gulp you know you can enter but if you can't finish it you have to leave us alone and have peace and go away so uh that that was kind of that is kind of the story that goes along with this square here and uh, i just thought that was kind of cool you know when you're in here in germany you will go in some of these shops sometime and you will see like a boot and uh you know if you can drink the boot of beer you know it's, it's it takes a little skill because you got to turn the boot because there'll be an air pocket in it because of the shape of the boot and stuff like that. So I even think they made a comedy movie about that one time. I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember when that was, but that might've been back in the early 2000s, late 1990s. You guys, if y'all remember a movie about that, it was about drinking and they came, it was like groups of people, it was like different countries and they came to Germany and tried to defeat the Germans and it was some kind of boot they had to drink from. So that whole story, that whole boot thing, I think it kind of comes from what happened here in Wolfenburg in, uh, in the 1400s. So I hope I got that somewhat right. It's kind of difficult when you don't know, you can't read German. I mean, the, the information's out there, but some of it's kind of hard to find. I'm going off of kind of word of mouth and understanding what they're telling me. So uh, that's kind of the outline of what happened here. And it's a really, really cool town with a ton of history. So uh, yeah, this is, that right there is absolutely beautiful. I love that, that structure right there. That is awesome check this vehicle out right here it's got christmas presents all over it it's red it's got garland on the side painted on the side of it why would this be we're here in the middle of summer well i'm about to tell you this right here is the christmas shop here in rothenburg this is a very famous spot you can actually celebrate christmas here year round so we're going to walk in the doors and take a look and see what we can see in here this is really awesome check out the ceiling in here all the garland the lights Got this beautiful white Christmas tree when we first come in. So check out this right here. This house they got constructed in here and all these little animatronics happenings. There's a lot going on here. Check out the rabbit. Look at the clothes. Is that not cool? There's a lot going on here. This is so cute. Check out these cool looking like snow globes they got right here. It's a nativity scene. You got this snowman family. Really cool. Oh, that's so cool. He's in a phone booth. Like he's over in the United Kingdom somewhere. That's pretty neat. Check out this right here. What's this dude? Oh, that is so cool. That is awesome. 
I just love when you walk through here and you look up at the ceiling, all the decorations throughout. And then you also have these assorted like Christmas balls like that you would hang on your Christmas tree. They're just kind of like everywhere. Each one has something different, you know, painted on them. Like there's some kind of snowman. Just got all kinds of stuff. You just gotta, you gotta look at every nook and cranny in this place because it's just packed full of Christmas goodness. This big nutcracker right here. So here we're about to venture downstairs and look at this big Christmas tree they have right here. And it actually turns, it's actually spinning. Yeah, this is beautiful. Look back through there. I mean, this, this shop just keeps going and going and going. Look at that. All right, so now we're gonna go up the steps here and I'm gonna show you some of the cuckoo clocks that they have here. So look at all of the beer steins they have in here, different different sizes, styles. Some of them have a different crest on it, like a lot of the towns here in Germany uh, have different crests. So you can like collect different ones from very specific towns. And here is the cuckoo clocks. Look at the craftsmanship of the wood. I mean, it is so beautiful. Oh, I like this one here. I like that deer up there. Look at that. It's really cool looking. Check that out. The animals. It's for a hunter. You got your guns up there. And so this one here is about 589 euros. So you're probably a little less than that in dollars. You know, I don't know what the equivalent is, but because the dollar is a little weak these days, but kind of give it, get an idea of how much some of these clocks cost. This one right here is 619, so probably about 600 bucks for this uh, for this cuckoo clock. Pretty cool. And then look at this stein right here. Look at that. This thing is huge. It's like maybe three foot tall or more. I bet you there's some of you out here could totally clear it, right? Y'all like drinking? <laughs> and look at the price on that. 2,575 euro. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to back away from that. That's too rich for my blood. Don't want to break it. He's cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. And they got more over here. They got some smaller ones. I'll check his cuckoo clock out here. You know what that reminds me of? You remember that Chevy Chase movie? I think it was a uh, European vacation and they actually went to Germany and they dressed up like this and they was dancing and everything. That's what that kind of reminds me of, European vacation. All right, that is the cuckoo clock location here in the Christmas store. So now let's keep on going through. All right, my friends, this right here is a very famous picture from Rothenburg. And I'm going to take you to this before this video is out. So uh, this is a really, really cool spot right here and very famous. Oh, check it out. Look at the top of the roof. You see that? There's some storks up there. Oh, the bell's ringing. All right, this right here is a very famous kind of dessert here in the area. It's called a Schneeball. And you know, my wife's aunt was telling me kind of how they do that. They actually cut it with this little rigid cutter, like a pizza cutter looking thing. And they cut it all up in these little strips and then they put it inside of this, like in the, in the inner edges of it and kind of ball it up and then they deep fry it down in some oil and cook it up and put like powdered sugar. They put chocolate on it, things like this. So uh, really cool looking dessert. And matter of fact, I think we're gonna try one. And this is what's what's a Schneeball. The, the <laughs> she trained you already. No. <laughs> Schneeball. I don't know. Schneeball. Schneeball. Yep. Uh, with powder sugar, one with cinnamon sugar. All right. This right here is the like it's like a medieval museum. You got to think, this was this place was thriving during the medieval times, and this right here was the buggy that they would use to uh, transport people. 
the bars on it. So if they wanted to force a confession back in those days, they would actually put you in this, right? And this is a counterbalance mechanism. So if you follow the post down to this end, you have your weight over here. You would have your stones. And then they would like put this would be right next to the river. <laughs> and then they would take the weight off. And of course, this would dunk you. Boom. Take you down in the water. Bring you up. See if you confess. Not again. You go down one more time. So uh, yeah, they would use this mechanism to get you to confess whatever information that, that you were hiding. That's how they worked back then in the medieval times. So yeah, pretty spooky. So my wife's aunt was just pointing out they have dragon heads on like the rain gutters on the corners of the building here at the museum. Look at that. And then we follow it down to the end. You can see them up there also. You know, just for show. All right, so they have some photos right here. Right here's what we're about to go see. This right here is a very famous Rothenberg picture. And they have some more pictures of it right here in a larger version. And they also have this one. This is a wintertime version of it where it's all snowing. And they got a Christmas tree right here in front of this beautiful home. And the cool thing about it is we're about to see it because it's just right down the end of the street here. I was standing here on this street corner just past the uh, the shop over there with the beautiful pictures of the downtown Rothenburg area, but just look at the flowers and the greenery. Look how gorgeous that is as you go up this hill. This is a very touristy spot. There's a lot of people out on the streets, you know, buying food and shopping, but then you gotta be careful because the roads here are very small. They're not very wide at all, so, uh, but the cars still come down the roads at a pretty good clip. That's one thing about Germany. The people here, they drive pretty quick in these little towns, they know them well. All right, so right here is the photo. We actually have this exact picture in our home, in our kitchen where we eat dinner, uh, right up above our table, you can actually see this, this uh, photo of Rothenberg and uh, I love it. I love the house. I love this tower right here with a clock tower. I think this is just such a cool spot and it's awesome to be here and be able to share it with you guys. And this here might be a cool thumbnail right there. Maybe. We don't know yet. But yeah, that there, that there is pretty cool. All right, my friends, we were just standing right over here across the street. Now I'm in the downhill area of this very famous photo spot. But I got something to share with you. Look at this. We found it. We're saved. This is the Fountain of Youth. It's right here in Rothenburg, Germany. There it is. See Jack Sparrow and them in the movie. They don't know what they're talking about. This is where the Fountain of Youth is actually located. Which I'm totally joking. <laughs> but I thought it was cool. Look at these little hidden steps right here. Check that out. All right, we're gonna make our way down the hill. This is kind of a first for me. Uh, been here several, on several occasions, but uh, I don't think I've ever walked down through here before. Could you imagine in the, uh, in the winter time when it snows, traversing this hill in a car? Hope you got front wheel drive, really good one. Because this is pretty steep. All right, so I made it down to the bottom of the hill. This here's like the back side of the uh, the town. And look at these old wooden doors back here where they could close it and lock it up. And I guess the Swedish would come up. <laughs> hey, do you have any beer? We're coming in, you know? <laughs> and you can see uh, the wall that you can walk across right here. We are gonna venture up there shortly, but uh, I've never came down here before, down this hill, so uh, I don't know, we might go up this way. This is not a private walkway, so we're okay. We can walk up here. And uh, oh man, we got some openings in the wall here, it looks like. Check this out. Ain't a lot to see right here, but some of the areas I'm gonna show you here shortly, uh, we'll be able to see more. As you can see my wife and aunt, they're way up there, so I gotta catch up now. So as we walk along this, this old wall here and you touch it, you just think about how old this is. 
and the people who built it and it's still standing all these years later hundreds of years later is still here it's pretty darn cool somebody in one of these apartments or these homes here they're totally baking some kind of bread i can smell it but right here is another opening in the wall as we've we've come up in elevation a little bit I'm gonna stick you guys through and kind of see hopefully i don't drop nothing where you can see what i'm talking about i mean just check that out very very pretty oh check this out this is grapes it's like grapes are just growing on the side right here and goes up to this this uh, window entrance We'll make some wine, ain't they? So I didn't realize it, but this is the back side of the medieval museum or the criminal museum. Because look right there is the dragon off the side of the uh, rain gutters. Museum is huge. And it's really, really tall. So now we're going to make our way back up the hill here, this little alleyway. And start kind of working our way out uh, not to say there's not more to see but definitely going to do that so right here on the side of this building we're going to zoom in on this little dude and this right here shows you the end inside there that was the butcher so you can see a pig he's got his knife so that this kind of tells you what used to be right there A lot of details around this town. You really got to look at everything. All right, we just walk right through this little corridor right here and look at this beautiful view on the back side of Rothenburg. Look at that. You can see some of the town where we've been exploring off in the distance there. You can really see how tall the wall is also. Look at that. And then it goes on around a little bit further. You can see one of the lookout towers there in the distance on the far right. Down a little bit lower, not that peak that you're seeing to the right, but there you go. It lit up a little bit. Now you can see that wall and that lookout tower. And then down below in the valley, you can see some of the homes. And kind of the way in is right there if you're driving. Yeah, that is, that is pretty cool. And this location here, that's where me and my wife actually uh, sit on this very wall right here. You know, right after we got married on, when we was here on our honeymoon. And we sat right here and we got a picture. And that right there is the backdrop. It's a very beautiful. And this here is the garden area. As you can see, it's got a lot of flowers up here. Beautiful trees. Green lush grass. And a banana plant. <laughs> I know that because we have these at home at uh, Carolina Beach. We have this in, our, in front of our house. So, uh, really, really cool. Look at this up here. Let's go check this out. That's really cool looking structures. All right, so here's a little bit of uh, history for the Castle Garden. I'll try to show you right here. It says in uh, 1356, an earthquake destroyed the castle reportedly that once stood on the site of today's castle garden later after 1375 locals erected the highest gate tower in Rothenburg. town defenses here all right so notice this right here this face this spooky looking face and this right here this was actually the places where the chain um hooked up and went into the wall itself and that's where the drawbridge was and that's just located right over here at this entrance. So let's go check that out. All right, so right here is the Castle Gardens. And everything we just read about is right here. This right here would be the tower they built in 1375 after the earthquake. And so the gate, this right here would have been where the drawbridge location was. And sure enough, look right there's the spooky face. Check it out. And you can see on each side of the face, you have these like notches in the, in the concrete there or the brick, whatever you want to call that, 
the stone carving. And that is where the drawbridge chain link actually lowered the gate. So that is pretty cool. And that is one spooky looking face. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. All right, here we are. We just walked inside of the entrance to the gate. Look at the big old wooden door. Look at these old looking like steps. That kind of used to go up through there. They're kind of crumbled now, but a lot of history right here. Pretty awesome. Just think the 1300s. Is that insane? 1300s. All right, so we were just right here in this door right here. This is a door within a door. And after nightfall, if they once they close the gates, this right here was your only way in and out. This little small, this is the only way you could crawl in and out of town. Just look at that. It might be, I don't know, what is that? 30 inches, 36 inches. It's a little small door within this large door. Yeah. It was fortified for a reason, so <laughs> that's why you had this little door to get in and out if, if you waited after nightfall. All right, we have made our way up here to the church. This is a Lutheran church. And this is pretty darn amazing right here because this church right here behind us was built in the 1300s. And the other cool thing, a little fun fact, is the stained glass that I'm about to show you in the very, very back of the sh uh, church um, is the original stained glass that was put in place back in the 1300s. It's not been replaced since then, it's all original. So a uh, lot of history right here. We're gonna walk inside just real quick, take a look at it, look at some of the places where you can like light the candles and you know, for prayers. Um, but yeah, this is all, this is gonna be really cool. So uh, let's go check it out. All right, here we are on the inside, you can actually Get you a candle and uh, light a prayer. But look at how beautiful the church is. Is this not magnificent? This is so grand. The stained glass. Yeah. That is awesome. All right, I love these. This is a cool, like a bronze 3D version of a map. So, uh, all right, my friends, we actually came in right up through here when we started, and we worked our way all the way down through here. We came right here. This is the market area. This was like the, uh, you know, the courthouse area. And so we made it down through here, went along this wall. Right here is actually where the famous picture was made. We did this, we come down, we walked along the backside, and back up here, right here is the church that we was at. And now we're gonna make our way up toward the front and walk along the actual barrier wall. So uh, let's get moving in that direction now. Before we leave the church area, this is a good way to really see how large the stained glass, since we're on the outside looking up, just how monstrous and how tall this is. I mean, check this out. We're at the very bottom looking up. And you just think how long ago that was put in place. That is crazy. All right, so now we've made it over here on the kind of the outskirts of town. So you can see this tower down here and you can kind of follow along. You can walk along the wall. It's actually covered from weather. And uh, we're actually gonna climb up these stairs and uh, take a little walk, see a little view from the historic wall here in Rothenburg. Let's get walking up some steps. very steep steps and you want to watch your head because look at that gotta keep your head down as we walk up and they have these little lookout places built in the wall where you can kind of look out and see who's it coming so we're going to walk down to the south first and take a gander and then make our way back toward the north. I will say this, it was a very temperature change in that, in that dark cavern area of the wall, but 
the uh, the walk on here is uh, kind of uneven. And I think over the years they have tried to fill in some of the the old gaps. I mean, this is a very very old pathway, so if you ever do come here, just be careful. And like I said, I'm almost six foot, not quite. Look over my head right here. It's not very high. Maybe if you was like six three. Might want to be careful. <laughs> For you taller people, you might definitely want to be careful uh, walking out through here. Some of the beams are, are a bit low. As you see my wife standing there, you can kind of give you an idea how wide it is. It is a very narrow walkway. So meeting people, you have to kind of give a little bit and give some room. But uh, look at this cool little view we have here. Right? Look at the church that we was just visiting moments ago. Very, very pretty, very nice. As we look down that way a little bit, pretty cool. All right, I think we're gonna turn and start walking up the hill. We don't wanna go down the hill too far cause then you just gotta walk even more, more so uphill, so you know. So before we move along here, I do wanna show the tiles, how they work here. You can see like these beams of wood and you can see like the hooking mechanism how their tiles work here you see the overhang but you look at all the buildings here in germany a lot of them had have these like tiles they didn't have like shingles or anything like that but this here just gives you kind of a idea how the mechanism how it all works really really cool they i think they pretty much last forever they're really really old so we just stopped right here to look at this piece of the wall it looked like there was some damaged i don't know if it was during war or fighting or whatever but at some point in time they bricked it and kind of made the open a little bit more safer a little bit smaller but me and my wife stopped right here just to get the breeze there's a nice cool breeze coming through this section of the wall you can kind of look down and see how high up we are all the parking out there people parks around the town of Rothenburg you pay for parking then you come in and it's like free you know to come in town and walk but you do have to pay for parking outside all right now it's time to go down look how steep these steps are and the steps are very small if you look at my feet look at that I mean my toes are overhanging like big time I don't even have huge feet so I think the best way to do is kind of step sideways and be very careful <laughs> and really man you gotta watch your head on stuff around here yeah all right now these are normal steps so uh, yeah we can do that all right so that was a very short tour of what the wall is like to walk here in Rothenburg. All right, man, that was pretty, that was pretty cool, fun, getting kind of hot out here. We really picked a great spot to come down from the wall because right here, my wife's aunt just told us that this, this little place here, this is a little housing area. This was the executioner's home place. So the person that was responsible for hanging people, beheading people, this is where he lived. And that is what that, that little plaque right there states. It's in German, so I can't read it, but she was like, this is where the hangman's tower, this was called the hangman's tower. So this is where the actual executioner of the medieval stuff we seen earlier, this is where the dude lived. And look at these old steps right here coming out of this, the roof. You know that was like definitely original from you know way back then they just built this up over it and just left the steps just kind of there how bizarre is that all right my friends that will pretty much do it for me today here in Rothenburg. hope you enjoyed today's video if you're new to the channel go ahead and think about subscribing if you enjoyed today's content please give me a big thumbs up i really do appreciate it until next time my friends i am the hitchhiking yeti and I will see you in my next adventure. So long. And from Germany, they say, Tschüssi.